Thank you mm. for joining mm. us. Um, we are listening to a Nigerian artist called mm. Ajabuja. Oh, oh, my. oh, my. oh my. no, 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 What's going on people and welcome to the Urban Affair. Thank you for joining us guys. Thank mm -hmm. you for joining mm -hmm. us. <laughs> this is a Nigerian artist, British born, called Abonjea. Yes. The song is called Try. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let's press play and see what it's called. <laughs> so fuck the promo. Fuck the promo. Get me out of here. Let's go. 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 Like Aye. and dis no, don't dislike. <laughs> like, no, don't dislike. Like, 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 Rattle me. me. No. All right, me. I'm going in. I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I don't smile. 
Bong Ja. Mm. Bong Ja. Who, whoever's got a score, go. Because yeah. some of us are still pondering. I gave this oh. a. Go, no, 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 go, go, go. I gave this a seven. Um, I thought it was a really good song. Um, one that kept me really engaged. Um, I think, you know, mainly obviously because of the video. I think the video, I'm trying to just kind of piece it together, but I just kind of saw, like, you know, even with linked with the lyrics, there was a lot of like motivation, power, um, symbols of that. That, mm. sh you know, even from looking as a kid to maybe understanding what. The power we hold, um, or what you can be, looking from that, being from the point of view um, as the kids. But it was a great song. I thought the chorus was really cool. That was my favourite part. Um, but yeah, I liked this, and I think even the whole art direction with it was really nice, and it was just creative. It kept me engaged throughout. So it was a really nice song. So it's a seven from me. So <laughs> shit. It's okay. I also gave it a seven, um, just following from David. Um, I was probably more interested about the visuals and just sort of understanding through the, through the visuals what the story was being told. Um, it was one of those that I was obviously like seeing through a bong jar and the little girl. And yeah, I was just trying to work it out through there. I mean, the song was okay for me, but I think for me it was like, there was that one part in the chorus part which I did like but other than that, it was okay, but not, uh, would I play it again? I don't know for myself, but mm. the visual sides, I could tell there was definitely some thought into that. And um, maybe a couple of watches may allow me to be able to understand that mm. element of it more. But yeah, I'd give it a seven for the thought and the visuals. Cool, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Um, I really like this song and I really like the video. I actually had goosebumps when I was watching it. Yeah, same. And I, I, I feel like, because Bon Jovi, like, he's, he's been around for a long, a, a while. Like, he's, this is his, like, lane. Like, he's very, he's always been quite experimental, quite different. Mm. Um, and he, he really is such a unique, he's got such a unique career. Like, you know, being such a British, like, a British artist, but also Nigerian and so connected to his roots. And you can really see it coming through his music. But anyway, my point is, this song I actually liked and I loved the pa like the parallels and how the song kept on changing and moving as you mm. was like listening to it because the first initial switch was when he literally physically changed like it was like a it was like a, it was like a real like uh, it was just very um, the movement like there was a lot of movement mm. within the way he was expressive he was very expressive mm, and you don't yeah. get that in a lot of artists like we watched videos before where it's like you know it's like oh, yeah but push my sunglasses I'm a chill but he was <laughs> uh -huh. actually he's got movement and he really does show levels and the way he's just moving like he's just sick like and I'm just like rah like and it was that first moment when he you know when his voice was just like rrr, rrr, like he yeah. just changed and I was like whoa like that woke me up because I was just like not woke me up in that sense but it just went me like <gasps> like it was a bit of a shock and then it changed again when the chorus of the the, the tri chorus came on and then it changed again it just kept on changing mm. yeah. i just find him so fascinating and i think he's actually such a sick artist and i think point and kill has probably opened not that he's not known before but that song and yeah. knowing what little sims yeah, has done I recently i think will open up even more yeah. people to seeing who he is and as an artist mm -hmm. um so i look forward to the new album I, I like Upon Jr. you know, it's, it's, it's good, he's good, he's good, he's good, I can't lie, so yeah, eight. I gave it a nine, um, yeah, I just feel like this, the whole concept is very profound. Um, one thing I really noticed, which was interesting, was the overall tone, but at times it was very unconventional. Um, mm. There's a bit where it goes, do 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 Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a, I know what you know what I mean, about. that's like very, almost unsettling. Mm. Um, obviously, I think it's done purposely. Um, and I think that ties in with the visuals. You saw a lot of like red skies and like flashing, mm. like in the stuff combined with the, the the horns, the hat with the horns. I'm not sure what that signifies. But maybe it's almost giving me like an old school, not yeah. Viking, but what yeah, is that? Yeah, I think it's Viking. It's is almost it like a, there's almost like a like it's a, it just shows like power, like you know, like mm. you're a king of some or, or of a some high sort. stature. Like mm. that's the kind of vibe. Do you I think got. it has traditional links. But Probably. that's possibly yeah. like even in the lyrics, it was like Possibly. I know what I came here to do. Mm. Things yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. they put concrete on yeah. my face, like stuff mm. like that. It just showed that like there was a purpose, mm. almost that like, he's telling the kid. But yeah, go on. Mm. I think there was a lyric as well that along the lines of how can I forget what I what? came. That's for? what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 that kept repeating, and that really um, 
impacted me to be honest because mm. that obviously has a lot of significant meaning but what could it actually mean which is mm. um, quite interesting it's almost like a, you know yeah like uh, someone of hyper telling you like you know reminding you like mm. you came here on this planet for a purpose for mm. a reason you know for a reason mm. yeah Who's next? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, sure. sorry, yeah. Um, it's a very strong line for me. Um, I've given it a seven. I feel like it's a song I get, I have to reflect on because Ian even talked, because I was going to talk about the inversion because that like really unsettled me. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe in a way that's actually quite good. good and maybe yeah. that's why it should deserve a higher. I'm still not sure yeah. <laughs> how I feel about it. <laughs> and I think, yeah, good art makes you like, kind of, yeah, you, it it's good. Yeah, yeah, it makes you feel, it, I definitely yeah. felt something, mm. yeah. but I couldn't tell you what I felt. Mm. so close to um, observing it. But I think if that's what he's producing and he's from the UK and that's his lens, it's really impressive actually. Mm. And you can tell there's there's care, there's attention to detail there and I'm looking forward to see what he's got. So I, I stand by my seven and I'm sure it will only get higher. Mm. Mm. It probably plays on themes that you have to go and read about. Read yeah. about mm. Study that kind of theory. Mm. So, all right guys, so we've given as a squad, it's a 7.5 <coughs> for try. Mm. Thank you so much for locking in. Thank you so much for, you know, sharing your evening, your morning, your whatever mm. it is. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, we're you don't really have to be with us, but you're with us. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna keep giving videos and I just, yeah, we're just happy that you're locking in. So lots of love guys, see you soon. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Peace.